So Brandy's artistry has made it possible for her to give back, and that's the same experience that we want to spark in our visitors, that people will harness their passion and creativity to make a difference, and I don't think anybody does that quite as well as Brandy Carlisle. So Brandy, it's my absolute honor to welcome you to the stage and present you with the 2019 Museum of Pop Culture Founders Award. laryngitis. Sadly, it's not from singing. It's because I got a goddamn kindergartner in my house. <clears throat> but my voice is a, uh, it's in shambles. I still wanted to speak though, because this is such an honor for me. It's an unspeakable honor. And um, just to bring this whole thing back to reality, I might be the only recipient of this award to have busked and asked for money outside the building. But I could always afford to get in. The doors were never closed to me as a young artist and as a person that wanted to see this memorabilia and experience the music and the, and the history that's honored within this room and within this space. And for that reason, I've always loved Mopop and will always support it with my whole heart. I'm a Seattle girl through and through. I learned everything I needed to know about life and music in this city. And um, this means everything to me. I absolutely mean that from the bottom of my heart. The other thing I should acknowledge is that I'm a pretty young person to be honored and it feels a little, I feel a little unworthy of it tonight. I just wanna be honest with you about that. A lot of the people that are are singing tonight are people whose tour buses I waited outside of like a creep. <laughs> These people are my heroes and um, they've given me a leg up over and over and over again in the, in the arts and in this business. And uh, now I owe y'all just one more favor of many. But um, I wanna thank Mopop. I wanna thank everyone involved in this. You don't know what you've done for me as a person who busked outside these doors and is standing here receiving this award tonight from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of Tim and Phil Hanseroff, my brothers and comrades without whom I wouldn't have a single song. Thank you. <laughs> 